So today we're gonna talk about candlestick patterns and specifically candlestick reversal patterns so that you can understand when should you get off the market, when the market would reverse on you so that you also wouldn't trade into reversals. Now if you haven't watched my first most basic candlestick video, feel free to go and watch it because in this course, I'm only going to talk about candlestick combinations, okay? Meaning two candlesticks combined together like a chopstick okay, maybe not chopstick, but so first thing first, what is a candlestick reversal pattern? As the name suggests, when something reverses on you, it means it makes a U-turn, okay? So the good thing is before the market reverses, it's gonna give you a couple of signals telling you, hey guys, we are gonna U-turn. It's not guaranteed, but there's a high probability that's going to U-turn. So if you're already in a trade, you better get out. So whenever you see a candlestick reversal pattern, what does it mean? It indicates a potential change in investor sentiment, okay? Are the buyers coming in? Are the sellers coming in? Are the buyers getting out? Are the sellers getting out? In other words, are the buyers overtaking the sellers? or the other way around. For example, let me show you this chart. Here you see sellers are pushing the price down and eventually until a certain point, market gives you a signal, hey guys, we are going to U-turn. And to give you a clue, it's somewhere right here, and eventually the price retraces. Later on, you know why. So the first candlestick reversal pattern is the bullish engulfing pattern. As the name suggests, this bullish candle completely engulfs this first candle. Okay? Now here's the thing. When it says engulfing, it means that the body of the second candle completely engulfs the body of the first candle. Meaning that the shadow or the wick doesn't matter. Meaning that the wick can be longer than this okay can be longer like this okay it's not very straight but you get a point okay the main focus here is the body of the candles the shadow the wick you don't have to pay attention to it okay so when you see a bullish engulfing pattern what does it mean it means that the markets are going to change to an uptrend meaning that you would find that the bullish engulfing pattern would work better in a bearish market, okay? So it's considered significant if it is found in a bearish market. Now the bullish engulfing pattern is also called the outside candle pattern. The bullish engulfing pattern is almost equivalent to the hammer pattern. If you don't remember the hammer pattern or you haven't watched the previous tutorial, this is your hammer pattern, okay? Initially, you have the bears coming in, the sellers coming in. Okay, it seems that downtrend is going well. It's going to continue on. The bears are taking control. Then all of a sudden, the buyers start to come in. The bulls start to come in and push the price all the way up. Okay, and then the price eventually closes on top. So if you look at the hammer pattern as compared to bullish and golfing pattern, you realize that there is a similarity between the two of these. Okay? So like I said, when you look at these candle combinations, you need to place emphasis on the size of the body, then the candle wick. Your f focus needs to be on the candle body rather than the shadow, rather than the candle wick. If you still don't understand what's a candle body, what's a candle wick, go and watch my earlier YouTube videos. Okay, so if I give you an example, this chart over here, obviously we are on a downtrend, okay? Can you spot where the bullish engulfing pattern is in this chart? Take a quick look. Here's the thing. Train your eyes, okay? Train your eyes to spot patterns just like that. Okay, it's basically right here. Can you see that? So initially the price was going on a bearish trend. The sellers are taking control. Then all of a sudden buyers start to come in. At this point of time, the trend reverses immediately after the bullish engulfing pattern forms. 
Why do I emphasize this is because if you watch my previous videos already, you know that when a reversal pattern forms, when a candlestick pattern forms, let's say for example when a doji forms, it doesn't reverse immediately. So if you want those risk taker, you might not want to buy right away when a candlestick signal is formed because you need to give some lag time for the price to respond. Do you know what I'm saying? And also for this setup, I wouldn't recommend a buy if you're a beginner because if you're making a buy right here, you're trading against the trend. You're trading in a bearish market. If this trend continues to go south instead of going back up, you're dead. Okay, dead, really dead. If you do want to use this as a beginner, use this as a take profit target. You make a sell somewhere here, for example, whenever you see a bullish engulfing pattern forming, this is a confirmation for you to get out. Take your profits and get out. i give you another example. I did draw the circle over here. So you can see that the market is going on a downtrend. Okay, and immediately a bullish engulfing pattern form, and in this case, the price retraces immediately. It went on the bullish trend. Okay, and here's the thing one very important thing you need to understand is that don't just rely on candlestick alone. Okay, I need to emphasize this many, many times. Don't use candlestick alone to enter because if you want to increase your probability of profits, you've got to add more confirmation indicators one of which is understanding are you trading the uptrend market or are you trading in a downtrend market okay another candlestick pattern is your bearish engulfing pattern basically it's the opposite of your bullish engulfing pattern yet again you have your small candle at first and then followed by a larger second candle so this time you have a bearish candle instead of a bullish candle like just now so what does this indicate? A bearish engulfing pattern would tell you that the market is going to U-turn from an upwards market to a downwards market which means that the market is going on a downtrend So where do you find this most effective? So you find that this pattern would be more significant in a bullish market Like I said, you have an uptrend going on When you see a bearish engulfing pattern it's a signal to you that market is going to go down okay so I realize that this is very similar to one of the patterns which I mentioned in my previous tutorial which is the shooting star pattern do you realize it's almost the same thing because initially it just seems like the buyers are taking control okay they push the price all the way up then after that to their surprise the sellers start to come in because life is full of surprises and it comes down and then push the price all the way back down then the price closes at the bottom okay remember that we don't focus on the shadow we don't focus on the wick we focus on the candle body now the whole entire rationale behind why this bearish movement happened is because when the buyers realize that the sellers are coming in then they'll start to panic then they'll start to cover their positions which means that all the buyers they need to take their profits they need to make a sell so hence, the buyers turn into sellers, and then this happens, okay? If you want to know the story behind it. Okay, let me give you an example. Can you spot where the bearish engulfing pattern is? I know in this chart, you can also see a bullish engulfing pattern. Can you find? Where is it? I know some of you need me to spoon feed you. Okay, here you go. Here it is. Alright, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Let me draw it nicely for you. Okay. This is a reversal pattern. Initially, the price is going on a bullish run. Then you see a bearish engulfing pattern. This tells you that it's time to take profit. But here's the thing. Not only does this tell you that it's time to get out of your buy position, you have one more signal over here. Can you see? This is a hammer. It tells you that price is going to retrace. Okay. So it's already two confirmations right here. And you also might be able to find the bullish engulfing pattern. Although it's not super ideal because the first candle, the body is a little bit too big. Okay, I would prefer it to be a little bit smaller than this. If you see a bullish engulfing pattern over here, 
in an uptrend, that's a confirmation for you to buy. In this case, you can use it for entry. Okay? Because here's the thing, if you are selling here, you are selling in an uptrend, which I don't recommend to beginners because you are trading against the trend. But you know what, if you are like a risk taker kind of person, do it at your own risk, okay? Okay, and then the next candlestick pattern, I hope it's not overwhelming by now. If you feel that it's overwhelming, have a notebook, write everything down, pause the video, pre-watch it again and again, okay? For just now, bullish engulfing pattern, the first candle is the small candle, the second candle is the big candle. Then for harami pattern, the first candle is the bigger candle, second candle is the small candle. Can you see? Over here? So as the name suggests, bullish harami pattern. It means that market is going to go on a bullish trend. Okay? Markets are changing to an up trend. So where is this most effective? In a bearish market. Okay? Now here's the thing, for engulfing patterns, harmony patterns, let me emphasize one thing, is that you want the smaller candle to be as small as possible. Because if you see, the second candle goes like this, it will be less effective as compared to this small candle. You understand what I'm saying? The smaller, the smaller candle, if that makes any sense, the better it is. Let me give you an example, Euro dollar. Can you find where the bullish harmony pattern is? I know you can't see the moving average here, but this is a downtrend, okay? Initially, the price is in a downtrend. And then, you see your bullish harmony pattern. Of course, this one not as ideal. But you know what? You have more than one signals over here. You have one not so strong bullish harmony pattern. You also have one spinning top, correct? get out before the price reverses. In this case, the price reverses immediately. It didn't range for a few hours. Okay, dollar yen. Can you find where the bullish army pattern is? Can you see it? Right here. Okay. You see, after the bullish army pattern forms, the price went down a little bit before it goes on a bullish run. That's why if you like to take risk and then you buy here immediately, it's like not a high probability trade. Unless you see this in an uptrend, then yes, this is a confirmation for you to maybe consider buying. Okay? Now I didn't say you can use this to predict when the price is going to reverse because nobody can predict the market. Not even me, not even Warren Buffett. Okay, the next candlestick pattern, the opposite of bullish harmony pattern. So right now, the first big candle, you have a bullish candle. The second small candle, you have a bearish candle. As the name suggests, it means that the price is going to go on a bearish trend. Meaning you'll see the price goes up. You see a bearish harmony pattern forming. It's a signal for you to take profit before the price retrace. So in the case that the market is going to change to a downtrend, it's significant if it is found in a bullish market. So I'll give you an example again. Can you find where the bearish harmony pattern is? Pretty obvious, right? You can see that price is on an uptrend here. And where is the bearish harmony? Right here and the price immediately retraces. So when you make a bot somewhere here or before this or after this, you better get out when you see this pattern, okay? Moreover, you see a doji pattern here. Another signal that's telling you to get out. Okay, another pattern. This one is called the bullish army cross. Why is it called a cross? It's because the second candle, instead of a candlestick pattern, it is a doji okay now this pattern you wouldn't see it that often but if you do see it it's pretty powerful so as the name suggests bullish harmony cross it means that the price is going to change to an uptrend meaning that you would have a bearish market 
when you see a bullish harmony cross, high probability that the price is going to retrace upwards. So it's considered significant only if you find it in a bearish market. And it provides you a stronger reversal pattern because you have the doji. So if you combine the doji into a bullish harmony cross pattern, it's almost like doubling the power. Let's play a game of finding Wally, if you know that game at all. In this case, finding bullish harmony cross. Where is it? You see a bearish trend here, okay? Right here. And then eventually the price ranges a little bit before it retraces back upwards. Now the final final pattern which is the bearish harmony cross. As the name suggests, it means that we have an uptrend. Then when you see the bearish harmony cross, it's going to U-turn to a bearish trend, okay? So in the case that market is going to change to a downtrend, it is more significant if you find it in a bullish market. Again, it provides you a stronger reversal pattern because of your doji, okay? Let's play another game of find the bearish harmony cross again. Okay, where is it? Kinda obvious, I made it easy for you. You have a bullish trend over here. A strong uptrend, in fact. After that, you see a bearish army cross right here. And immediately the price retraces. Okay, so when it comes to trading candlesticks and also with any other indicators, you need to understand that your indicators doesn't work in all trading environment. It doesn't work in all market conditions. It doesn't work in all types of market environment. So knowing when to trade, knowing when to not trade, it's just as important as what to trade, what to not trade. Okay, so when should you not trade using candlesticks during periods of low trading volume? In other words, when the market is just going sideways in a quiet market, we are in Singapore, then it's early in the morning when Tokyo market opens. So you don't want to trade when the markets are too quiet. You also don't want to trade when the markets are too noisy during volatile market conditions, during choppy market conditions. When you trade candlesticks and you trade it into the news, it's not gonna work out. Not only for candlesticks but also any other indicators, during high impact news, your indicators would be rendered useless. Completely useless. I don't care if you have the holy grail of the holy grail. When the Fed decides to increase interest rates, when you are using your holy grail, you're gonna die. So in other words, don't trade when there's no volatility. Also don't trade when there's too much volatility. You want it to be just nice. During the more liquid market sessions. And also, it's better not to use candlesticks during a ranging market. Especially if you're a beginner. Candlestick pattern would work better in a trending market. There are indicators that are reserved for ranging market and you use that for ranging markets, okay? And also please, like I said, don't use candlesticks without other confirmation indicators. I know some people, they can trade with candlesticks alone. They can just rely on price action. But you know what, as a beginner, I would prefer that you have indicators, other confirmation indicators in place first. When you are more comfortable, when you're more experienced, then you can gradually remove the redundant indicators that doesn't help you. Because once you get to this place where you have the gut feeling for things, you'll be like, okay, it's gonna go up. Without even putting the indicators in, you can visualize in your eyes, in your brain, in your subconscious mind, how the indicators is going to slope, what pattern is it going to form. You would have this so-called gut feeling. I don't know how to explain to you. You need to experience it yourself. Let me give you a couple of examples. Okay, I know I already talked about a couple of candlestick patterns, but let me give you a clue, okay? Find the bearish harami cross. Can you see this? Okay. So this one confirmation, which is your bearish harami, okay? This one confirmation. That is going to 
reverse from an uptrend to a downtrend. Second confirmation, for example, if you have watched my RSI video, you see that it shows you what prices over bought. So you have your second confirmation, which is your RSI. Okay. Third confirmation, where is it? So I drew this trend line over here. So the price tested the trend line once, twice, then the third time it tests over here. So this trend line acts like a resistance. I haven't done the trend line video as of now. So please be patient for that. It's coming soon. So you have a trend line telling you, okay, price might bounce off the trend line. And if you're in Singapore terms, kiasu, meaning you'll be like, I need more confirmations. I need to be better than other traders. For example, you have your Bollinger Bands over here, okay? When the price touches the top band, it indicates to you two things. Number one, the price is going to continue. Number two, the price is going to reverse. So in this case, you can say, okay, probably in this case, the price is going to reverse. Again, Bonjour Band video coming up soon, stay tuned for it. But if you're watching this video one year later, or two years later, all the videos are done. Go and find it yourself, okay? Okay, so with that, let me know down in the comment section below, how do you use candlestick reversal patterns for your trading? Do you use it more for confirmation, for a take profit, or for an entry? Let me know, so that the rest of the community can also learn from you, okay? So with that, stay tuned for part 2 of this course where I'm going to share with you the 5 candlestick continuation patterns, okay? So that you can use it for entry, to make a buy, to make a sell. Hopefully you enjoy learning from this course. And with that, I'll talk to you in the next episode. Bye.